everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we'll see a matrix related question so it's a easy one and it's a simple one so let's try to understand this question and let's try to solve this problem it says given a 2d integer array return the transpose of a matrix so they have given a 2d array in the form of a matrix and we have to return its transpose so what is transpose transpose of a matrix is a, he has given the definition also let's see the transpose of a matrix is a matrix flipped over its main diagonal so if you flip this matrix over this diagonal 2 5 6 so whatever the resultant matrix will be is the mat transposed mat matrix see this example if you see 2 5 6 is the diagonal and 4 minus 1 and 11 elements are flipped over if you flip these 4 minus and 11 elements they are replaced with minus 10 18 and minus 7 so in the transpose matrix you can see whatever the above 4 minus 1 and 11 elements came below the diagonal and diagonal elements went above the diagonal so examples we have two examples one is 3 by 3 matrix another is 2 by 2 matrix so whatever be the size of the matrix we have to uh, return the transpose of that matrix so let us try to solve this problem so the approach which we follow here will be like as the mat matrix size is different we'll use an extra space and then we'll try to solve this so let's try to code this first i'll get the rows of the given matrix let's say i'll take i'll take the row length I'll say matrix or matrix dot length. So to get the rows, row length, we have to use matrix dot length, whatever the matrix given, 2D array. And to get the column length, I'll say call length equal to, if we get the size of this row, right, that should be enough for column length. So matrix of 0 dot length. Okay. Now, as we are taking extra space, let's try take a new 2D array. Let's uh, initialize this array. Let's take a result array. And now here, one thing we have to observe, the sizes which we have to initialize, right? That sizes will become, as we are doing transpose, right? Rows will become columns and columns will become rows. So based on that, if the size is different, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here, uh, we have given 2 by 3 matrix. If the, the resultant matrix will be 3 by 2, uh, it will become 3 by 2 after transpose. So we have to give the size according to that. So here, the row length will become column length. And column length will become row length of this resultant matrix. So th this thing we have to keep in mind because the size is different. And uh, let's try to iterate over it. Uh, what I'll do, I'll try to iterate over this matrix. I'll say for int i equal to 0, i less than what matrix we have to take? This length we have to take because we are using this extra matrix, extra space. And let's take another array for columns for int j equal to 0 j less than same resultant array of 0 dot length and j plus plus simple simply we have to copy now what we have to copy in this array resultant array of i j what we have to copy we have to copy this matrix j comma i j comma i we have to copy and finally the resultant matrix we have to return return resultant matrix okay that's it this uh, uh, that's the simple solution so let's try to dry run this i understand what is the time complexity what is the space complexity and how we can optimize this so uh, let's try to dry run row length uh, it is given matrix dot length so row length is 3 column length is 3 
okay matrix of 0 dot then 3 and resultant array we have taken 3 by 3 as row length column, column name same and next we are iterating through this loop so if you see here first uh, row represents first loop represents the rows i equal to 0 i rest on resultant array so i equal to 0 i less than 3 next j equal to 0 j less than 3 and the second inner loop represents the columns so resultant of 0 comma 0 equal to matrix of 0 comma 0 so first element will be copied as it is again j will increment to 1 so 0 comma 1 4 here uh, 4 of this one will be copied to sorry here 0 comma 1 what will be copied here here 1 comma 0 will be copied so here minus term will be copied similarly j equal to 2 so 2 comma 0 will be copied 2 comma 0 will be copied in here 0 comma 2 so similarly all the rows values will be so this matrix of j comma i all the uh, j value all the j comma i values will be copied to this resultant first what will be copied like 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 and uh, 2 comma 0 so these things will be copied here similarly 4 this one this 4 5 7 this minus 1 11 6 will be copied and finally this will be written let's take this example in the second example we have different sizes uh, row length is 2 and column length is 3 so for those all the for this also it, it will work let's try to analyze here row length is what is the row length here 2 column length is 3 and the resultant matrix we have given this this resultant matrix rows will be the column length that is 3 comma 2 so input is 2 by 3 matrix resultant should 3 by 2 matrix that we have taken and we are iterating through this and then after that uh, let's try the dry run here i equal to 0 j equal to 0 and uh, resultant of result array 0 comma 0 will be 0 comma 0 and if j equal to 1 here j increment j equal to 1 1 comma 0 so 0 comma 1 in the resultant value will be 1 comma 0 so 2 so if, if you take each and every step right so you will get the resultant array let's try to run this let's try to see yeah it is accepted let's try to submit so if we submit here it should be successful so it is successful now so interviewer may ask you in uh, different uh, way as well maybe he can uh, twist it a little bit saying that you should not take this extra space and you have to solve it without doing that so in that case uh, if the length doesn't vary we can do it in in place and uh, if the length vary then we have to uh, we have to ask the interviewer further questions like how we have to proceed with that and based on that we have to uh, go ahead so that's it in this video uh, i think you have liked my video please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel uh, and press the bell icon thank you